Today we're talking about the three things that you need to know before you buy CBD. So a quick side note, we're not going to get into what CBD is. There's already plenty of information out there in regards to what CBD is. All you got to do is Google what is CBD and you'll find those videos on that. Also, if you guys would like me to do a video to kind of break it down at a 101 level, basic, very easy to understand. If you're brand new to hemp and you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what to look for, put it in the comments below and I'll do a video in the future to help you guys out. So let's get into it. Number three what type of CBD or hemp extract is in the product that you're buying? Wait, what? Let me explain. So there's three different types of CBD that you should look for pretty much all across the board, the different type of extracts that are in the products themselves. First, full spectrum hemp is probably the most widely used extract in the hemp CBD products today that you don't really think about what's in it, but full spectrum says just that. It's a full spectrum. It's got all the list of the cannabinoids that we just listed. So if you don't have a worry about THC in your system, that's the right product for you. Broad spectrum is for everyone that needs the benefits of the full spectrum minus the THC. So there's zero THC, but all of the other cannabinoids in there. So that's probably the product for you. And the isolate based products is strictly that. It's an isolated compound, strictly CBD, pure. That's it. Only CBD, nothing else. For first responders, nurses, athletes, students, etc., anyone that is required to take a drug test frequently that is worried about THC showing up in that result, my recommendation would be to use a broad spectrum as opposed to a full spectrum. You get all of the benefits of the full spectrum minus the THC, and that's probably the right CBD product for you. Number two, test results, test results, test results. Test results are critical, and I can't stress this enough when it comes to purchasing your first CBD product. Why do you ask? The test result is something that the company is required to have and to do for the product before they put it out in the market, whether it's a gummy or an isolate or a tincture, because they go over a lot of things about the product that you're buying that you as the consumer need to know. It goes over the date when the product was tested. It goes over the date when the product was manufactured. It goes over if it's got potential harmful chemicals, pesticides, heavy metals, a whole bunch of stuff and it'll tell you if your product is safe to consume. If the product does not have test results, be careful. If you wanna buy a product, say online, on Amazon, because there's so many different products of so many different variations, always ask for test results. Can't stress this enough, test results, crucial. If you wanna know more about test results, I'll do a full comprehensive video, and I'll put the link below in the description just so you guys can understand about everything that goes into test results. I can't stress it enough. Now let's get into number one, the top thing, in my opinion, of what you need to look for when you're buying your first CBD product. The number one thing that you need to look for when you're buying your CBD product or your hemp product is the dose. What do I mean by that? When you're looking at the dose of the product that you're going to be buying, it comes in milligram concentration. Milligrams is gonna show you how much of CBD is actually in each serving that you're gonna be consuming in your product. I have a tincture right here, and this is a 30 milliliter bottle. Each one of these, this is called a dropper, is one milliliter. So there's 30 servings inside of a tincture. Each label is different and it should tell you what the dose is of how much of the compound, the CBD that you're looking to try to get in each serving. Every label should have a dose on the back. If it doesn't, don't buy it. This label says the serving size is half a milliliter. That's half of the dropper. Each label is gonna be different. So look on the label, amount per serving, right here. This one says 12 milligrams. We're talking about the dose, what you get per drop. So if you have a serving size that is in just drops and you wanna know where to start or how much that is instead of sitting out and measuring drops, uh-uh. 10 drops is usually half of a dropper or 0.5 ml. One ml is a full dropper. But beware, if the label says it's just a hemp extract and the test results don't show you how much CBD or the test results don't even exist, don't buy it. Also a thing to consider whenever you're looking at the dose, we're talking about the full label now. So the full label is gonna tell you what's in it, what the serving size is, and how much you're getting per serving. But a lot of brands recommend one full dropper to start 
My personal recommendation to get you the most value out of your CBD is to use half. Start with half of a dropper so you don't waste your CBD if you're brand new to the market. Another side note, if it's your first CBD product ever, start small, start very small. There are studies out there that have shown that an effective dose is as small as 2.5 milligrams. That's tiny. This one has 12 milligrams per dose. So the dose is very important, probably the most important thing when you're buying your first CBD product. Thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that this video helps on your CBD journey when you're trying this product because there's a lot of benefits to the compound in the hemp and hemp is the future, my personal opinion. So thanks for sticking around. This is Hemp 101. If you like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.